Hey there Collective, how's it going? Name's Lorraine and welcome. Welcome to the New Earth community. Welcome to this Tarot Love Reading. Alright guys, so once again we're going to focus in on your person. Person on your mind, person you're thinking about at this time. Or a person you may already be involved with. You just want to know a little bit more about this person, their thoughts, their emotions here and their actions. So let's dive deep. Okay, so you're coming in with the Sun card, and you're also coming in with Hope, which is talking about a wish fulfillment, yeah? I mean, you've, what can I say here? So the Sun card talks about illumination, yeah, what's been illuminated to you at this time, and what I'm getting here, it's your heart's desire coming in with the Star card. There is something or someone or some kind of situation you're wanting to be involved in. You know, it can be a job. So it's it's saying here you want, you know, you want something. There's something you want to put your time and attention into. Yeah? And this is something that means a hell of a lot to you coming in with the hope card. Okay? Yeah, it can be a wish fulfillment. It can. You know, wishing on a star. But, you know, okay, I always say there's a slim chance for it to happen. What it talks about there is that you've actually got to go and get it. It's not about sitting back and waiting for things to come to you, okay? Now, you may be sitting back, okay? You may be wondering to yourself, so how? How do I do this? How do I get my heart's desire? Yeah, what is it that I need to do? This is what it's talking about. You can't sit there with that idea in your head, yeah, and do nothing about it. You've actually got to bring it into your reality. That's what it talks about. Even though, you know, you see what makes you happy, you know what makes you happy. It's a wish fulfillment here. You still need courage and strength to go and get it. All right? Courage and strength is such a big card. Yeah. All right. So what are you going to put your time and attention into? Okay, what is it that you're going to do? What are you going to end out? Yeah, to get this, um, to go towards your heart's desire. This is what it's saying here. Okay, let's see. Because what I'm getting here is the heart chakra. Yeah, your heart chakra is cracking open. Not only is your heart, ch your heart chakra cracking open, but I do seem to think so is your person. Let's have a look. Okay. Five of Swords, it's in the reverse. Okay, you have the Empress, Queen of Cups. Okay, you have the Three of Wands. All right, I'm going to put this on the bottom of the deck, okay? Which is the Knight of Cups. All right, guys. What I get here is that you're not confused, yeah? You're not confused about this new beginning. You And what it also talks about here is that you know what you've done to be true in terms of ending out a past cycle for a new one to begin, coming in with the Five of Swords. No longer lying to yourself, no longer trying to justify why you're not going towards your heart's desire. This is what it's talking about here, yeah? I do seem to think your person may see you as, you know, the world here. But what it also talks about here in your reading, you know, is that you've mastered your craft or you're learning to master your craft. You know what you, you know, you know, it's like, I know what I know to be real for me. I trust in what I know. I trust in what I've learned thus far coming in with the Empress. See, this is a new beginning. But in order to have this new beginning, yeah, you've got to make it work. That's what it's saying here. Yeah. Um, it's a second chance. It's a second chance at building the life in which you want for yourself. Going towards your heart's desire. All right. 
And what I can get here is that you can make it happen. You can make it happen because you are coming in with the Empress. However, the Empress is still a student. This is what it's talking about. Yeah, she still needs to master her craft. So she may be still going through or ending out past cycles here or a past way of being. And you do have that here with the Five of Swords. It's saying here in the reverse, it's saying here, you know, they know what they're doing. No longer justifying their actions. Okay, Collective. You are coming in with the Three of Wands here. Yeah. It's, it's saying here in your reading, and I just had it too. It, it's saying here in your reading. It's almost like waiting for an opportunity. Um, this Empress, waiting for an opportunity to be with you, you the viewer, yeah. If you are, you know, no gender when you're coming in with um, the Empress card, no gender here. And there's no gender in tarot, it's just characteristics and traits here, okay? Yeah, it's like waiting to take that opportunity here. And it kind of talks, you know, this is your person. You know, you they know that you make them happy. They know that you are the one. You know, you have you are you're being illuminated to this person at this time. This is kind of what it's saying. And so when that opportunity arises, when they get to have an opportunity with you, what it talks about here is that this person is going to take it. Yeah. They've got to take it. And even for yourself here, collective. When the opportunity arises, are you going to take it? This is what it's saying here. Yeah. I think so. I think so. But it's not my reading. It's your reading here. Okay, so you're coming in with, well, mm, this is talking about a love offer. This, You know, the three of wands could very well be talking about the person on your mind. Waiting for that opportunity to make this offer. But it's, it's almost telling me here is that this person's made their mind up. They've made their mind up, yeah? And it's almost like I'm sticking to it, like the hangman, you know. They've made their mind up. They know what they're wanting. They know what they want. They know that they want you. It's kind of coming across like that in your reading, yeah? And it's, it's, a, it's like my mind is not going to be swayed by other people. That's what I'm getting here. All right, let's see what else we can pull here. Okay, so you have the Magician. You have the Two of Cups. Your lovers. Your lovers. That's what it's saying here, coming in with the Two of Cups in this particular point in the spread. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Okay. We need more pentacles. We need more pentacles here. Like I said before, you have to actually go and get this person. Yeah. You can't sit back. You can't sit back here and wait for this person coming in with the seven of pentacles here. Yeah. What you've achieved, your success, you know, and achievements thus far is not enough to pull this person towards you. There are changes that need to happen. Okay, let's say, okay, but I went to go and get this person. I asked this person out. Then what it talks about here is that you need to take it to the next level. You need to actually, yeah, create positive changes in your life. This is what it's talking about here. All right. I do seem to think this person wants to come back towards you. All right. You have the magician card. What I'm, what I'm getting here in terms of the magician, look, if your person has some kind of business, if your person has some kind of um, social media platform, it does talk about that as well, yeah. That's all they give their time and attention to. It's, it's telling me here in your reading is that this person works really hard. This person... You know, they don't like to be, um, they're not letting anything interfere with what they're doing. 
yeah they're a workaholic is what i'm getting here but what it talks about there why this person is an, a workaholic what i'm getting there is that they're building a foundation okay they're building a foundation here let's pull three more cards you both see each other as lovers this is the person for you. This is the person you want to be with. Yeah. And, and when you're coming in with this empress, yeah, you're the only one this person wants to be with. They think about you all the time. They think about you a hell of a lot. And it's, it's almost like it's a shock to this person. Well, maybe a shock to you as well. It's a damn shock to the empress. Hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm getting here. Well, it's like a wake up call for the both of you. The wake up call. Like, what have I done? What have I done to bring this person towards me? What have I created here? Yeah. Or what have I done to bring this person into my reality? What changes have I made in my life? What have I tried to change here? You know, this is what it's talking about here. What have you done here? Because what I'm kind of getting here in your reading is that you can't go towards this person like you did in the past. It has to kind of change here. That's what it's saying. Oh my God, the lovers want to take it to another level. This is a passionate new beginning. There it is. There's the strength. I'm so glad it came out for us. You know, even though you did get the seven of pentacles, it's not a great card to get. And I'll just be straight up with you there. Yeah, because it's saying you haven't done anything. Or this person hasn't done any anything. It's either that or they don't know or they don't have the means and the tools to change, to create any kind of change here. It's kind of telling me here is that this person may still come in the way that they are. But, it, you know, regardless of that, are you going to be able to, to cope with this person? Yeah. And what they have in their life. Because it kind of tells me here is that they too have a lot on their plate. They too have to balance their time and their attention. So it's not just about you. There could be other things that this person is giving to as well. I kind of get this person could be building. They could be building something here. It could also be reprogramming. Yeah, which is what people do. Yeah, reprogramming the inner child, reprog um, you know, the, the inner parent here, the mind. All right. You know, you've got a stunning reading. You do. So what it talks about here is that you've got to look after everything that you have, everything that you have manifested here. And what I get here in your reading, it's not like you're going to let anybody take it from you. All right. There is something there. There is a depth to you that you keep hidden. Of course, you may come across as light. You may come across as meaningful here. Yeah, but soon as you get soon as you feel threatened that someone's going to do something or say something here you know you don't you don't allow people you don't allow people no longer do you allow people to run all over you or treat you a certain way there is a depth to you that nobody really knows this is what it's talking about here yeah You know, you don't create, what I'm getting here is that you don't create conflict or drama in your life. You don't invest in things that don't serve you here. If it doesn't align to the magician, if it doesn't align to what you're trying to build for yourself, you don't take it any further. You leave it there. 
That's how it's kind of coming in here. And you, you know what it talks about here and what I'm getting here, it's got to do with the person on your mind collective. When we talk about the two of cups and lovers. Yeah. Yeah, that's what. See, it's the two of cups. It's the fact that you're, you and this person have this emotions. It's almost like your person knows that about the two of cups. They all, it's almost like they know that you love them. Yeah. It's like a new beginning in love. Okay? A new beginning in love. This person's in hermit mode. The Empress. She's in hermit mode. She's not really giving it to anybody. Well, that's how it's kind of coming across. And you do have the Seven of Wands over here. Yeah? It's like she's not taking it to another level. She's got so much on her plate. There's so much that she needs to do to give her time and attention to here, guys. This is what it's talking about in your reading. Yeah, she's ready to shift it. She's wanting to shift it. Yeah. But, you know, uh, she, no gender. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pretty much what I'm getting here in your reading. Oh, you've got the hangman. Yeah, so it's it's kind of coming in like, you know, this person is waiting for that opportunity. Waiting for that opportunity. This is the both of you. Let's be quite honest here. Yeah, so don't sit there and wait for your person. Here, you know, when the opportunity arises, are you going to take it? This is what it's talking about here in your reading. Are you going to follow your heart's desire? Have you made the changes? Have you made that conscious choice to change? It talks about there, you know, it talks about confidence, self-worth. But this is not just with this relationship or this connection. This has actually got to do with everything that you're wanting to put your time and attention into. That's what it talks about here, collective, okay? Not just the two of cups. So what else makes you happy? This is what I'm getting. And it also came through in the pre-shuffle. Yeah. That there are a lot of things in front of you. All right. Of course, this person is in front of you. And you've already kind of made your mind up and said, yeah, no, I want to be with that person. Okay. But there are other choices to be made here. There's movement, moving. Okay. Whatever movement looks like for you. All right, guys, there's jobs, there's careers here. What are you putting your time and attention into? See, this is what the sun card is illuminating too as well. And you also have the hope card here too. It's almost saying, okay, you know, it's like, go, it's like saying to yourself, I hope everything goes well, yeah? I need to put my time and attention into everything that I do so that I'm able to follow my heart's desire. So my dreams, my wish can come in for me. All right. Passionate new beginning. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Book an image reading, tarot reading with me. Check out the details. All right, guys. Also become a member of our Facebook group and I'll catch you later. Bye.